Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the head apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule well and taught us this wisdom, truth, and knowledge. Peace and blessings to all you sincere Akim that are pushing this truth all over the four corners of the earth, week in and week out, in all truth and sincerity. This is the brother Mathathiah coming to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, with Lord willing, another edifying lesson. Uh, this is going to be the first episode on health. Okay, uh, I'm going to, you know, start a little uh, series on health, health benefits, uh, using the herbs for your benefits, uh, trying to stay away from Esau's medications and his uh, pharmacies, okay, and his, uh, it might as well say, his drugs that he uh, prescribes to the people, okay. You know, there's many benefits and many uh, uses for the herbs that the Most High has given us to benefit our body, okay, you know, to help us with sickness, disease, to help us with uh, inflammation, you know, uh, allergies, etc., man, okay, because we're constantly being polluted uh, by these devils uh, living under his rulership, man, okay, our water's polluted, all right, our household items are polluted, the air that we breathe is polluted with chemtrails, okay, our food is heavily polluted, you know, genetically modified on top of all sorts of chemicals being deposited in, in, into our food, okay? And what's pushed all over the four corners of the earth is medicine. The medicine you can get only comes from these pharmacies and these doctors, man, basically the medical field, okay? But in the ancient times, our people were using what? They were using the herbs from the earth, man, okay? Now let's, uh, matter of fact, all right, I'll, I'll, uh, let me get into this benefits of ginger first, and then I'm gonna pull out some scriptures. I was gonna lead with the scriptures, but let's uh, let's get into it. This episode, this health episode one, is gonna be on the benefits of ginger. Okay, and and I, I try to uh, eat ginger every day. You know, I'll mix it in a smoothie. You know, add some orange juice, add some mangoes, some fruit, etc. And uh, I, I I usually drink ginger every day. You know, it's uh very good health benefit for your body it says there are few spices in the world more useful and beneficial to the human health than ginger a root that is typically available in most parts of the world at a remarkable affordable price belonging to the same family as spice as termac cardamom and galago gala galagango it shares a tart but widely applicable flavor and a vast range of health benefits Okay, but what exactly can you expect ginger to do in terms of benefiting your overall health picture? In general, consuming ginger on a regular basis means your body giving your body a shot of nutrients, minerals, bioactive compounds that scientific research has shown can benefit both mind and frame. Now, let's take a closer look at some of some of those individual benefits. All right. And uh, one of the benefits we're going to start out first is it reduces inflammation. Okay, it says the primary bioactive component in ginger, a root that was originally found in China, is ginger oil. The main benefit of ginger oil from a physical health perspective is it demonstrable, demonstrable anti inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which are capable of helping prevent or fight off a wide variety of infections and threats to the slock and threats to the human immune system okay so it basically uh raises your immune system man okay allows you to fight off uh different diseases sicknesses illnesses and you know that's what we need in this society man in this place man okay because we're constantly being polluted with all types of things that are detrimental to our health man okay basically everywhere you everywhere you look man the restaurants you go to the places you go the food you eat Okay, the water you drink, the air you breathe is basically polluted, man. Okay, it says uh, more specifically, any food that is high in anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds can play a role in helping your body reduce swelling and prevent the spread of serious illness, from cancer to heart disease. That's why health professionals regularly recommend people to add these types of food to their diet. Okay, so it can help with heart disease, all right, cancer, you know, and different types of illnesses, man. So it's very beneficial to your health, man. Okay, 
and you can take you can you can take the ginger root and, and chop it up and you can just eat it some people just eat it regular like that I like to mix it in the smoothies you can chop it up or you like you can grain it up to uh, very small bits and add it to salads you know just basically uh, to, to whatever you're eating you can you can uh, spice it up with ginger man okay you know and uh, ginger also helps with nausea okay you know with an upset stomach you know you're feeling uh, sick in your stomach ginger also helps with that okay and now let's get into uh, it helps with muscle pain one of the lesser known benefits of consuming ginger whether it's in root form or powder is that it can assist in overcoming muscle pain and soreness okay you know so hey for, for bros that work out and, and exercise a lot hey man for that muscle pain that soreness ginger also helps with that man okay and you can also get ginger in the pill form from these pharmacies etc from you know your walmarts uh, and kroger's etc but it's always better to get the purest form you know that's untainted it has been basically uh, uh, to the, the the least amount manipulated, okay. When they put it in these pill forms, when they grind it up, this that and so forth, you know, Esau always adds to it and takes from these herbs. So the best thing to do is just get the the whole root completely, chop it up. You can take the skin off it, or you can just chop it up and eat the skin as well. I usually just eat the skin with it, okay. It says, given that these types of pain are incredibly common and stem from a wide range of conditions from lower back pain to whiplash to pulled groin muscles, there's definitely a demand for natural way to deal with these issues. Okay, you know, and that's basically what we're getting to the natural way to deal with uh, pain, soreness. Okay, you know, different uh, 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 health in it, health uh, uh, illnesses and health related issues, man. Okay. And on top of that, just raising your immune system and 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 uh, uh, adding nutrition to your body the way it's supposed to be added. Okay, you know, hey, you go into these pharmacies. What are they going to su subscribe for muscle pain and soreness? They're going to give you some pill, man. Okay, you know, they're always going to subscribe you some prescription drug, man. They're not going to tell you to hey, take this herb, take that herb, do this, do that, do anything natural, man. They always want to prescribe something because it's all about money. It's all about business. OK, it says while more extreme fits of pain often require an individual to take prescription drug medication such as codeine, many of these pain medications have serious side effects. <laughs> that's right. See, you know, and that's what they're going to prescribe you when you go for, for these doc doctors, man. OK, hey, when you go into that word doctor it means to falsify. OK, you know, and they're basically just set up to make money off you, man. All right. And there's serious side effects to these uh, prescription drugs, man. OK. There's very little side effects to, from the herbs of the earth, from the herbs of the earth. OK. It says, including upset stomach and constipation, ginger is the natural alternative. And while somewhat less immediate in dealing with the pain, it can provide relief without introducing a wide range of nagging side effects. OK. The improvement of these side effects are likely due to the an anti-inflammatory effects of ginger. OK. So no side effects, man. All right. All right. And also it helps with arthritis, arthritis. OK, arthritis is a problem that affect that affections millions of North Americans with osteo arthritis being a particular troublesome issue for women related to the progression degeneration of the body's joints. It often leads to pain and stiffness that can make any kind of movement incredibly difficult, you know. And a lot of these elderly or older people get arthritis, okay? That stiffness in, 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 in the joints of the body, okay? And these doctors, they prescribe all these different types of medications for arthritis, man, okay? But a natural way to deal with arthritis is to take ginger regularly, okay? It says in extreme cases is enough to prevent individuals from participating in the simple activities they love from playing with their grandkids to going for walks with kids. Uh, let's see here. Let's skip down a little bit. It says, you know, it goes into the side effects of these other medications that they get from these doctors, but going into ginger it says in response many individuals turn to natural remedies at the forefront of which is ginger thanks to the presence of ginger oil at an anti-inflammatory compound 
Ginger can have a significant impact on the pain and stiffness associated with osteoarthritis. arthritis in time taking ginger on a regular basis could allow an individual to regain flexibility and return to physical activities they come to love. Okay, so it helps with arthritis, man. It's good for your body, it's good for your joints, it's good for your bones, it's good for your ligaments. Okay. All right. Next point dealing with ginger is it prevents heart disease. There are few, if any, organs more important than the heart. The engine of our bodies, the heart, plays a central role in pumping blood throughout the circulatory system, bringing nutrients to all parts of the body. Unfortunately, there are a growing number of threats to the heart, from personal and professional stress to regular consumption of high-fat, high-cholesterol foods. That's right. Hey, so-called white men is putting all these things into the uh, uh, into these grocery stores, these restaurants, the air, the water, okay, that is that affects our heart, man, okay? It says that's why it is so important to regularly consume foods that have been shown to assist in preventing the development of heart disease and associated issues, okay? You know, and being one of those is uh, is ginger, along with a, a, a long list of different herbs, including high blood pressure and high cholesterol, Okay, and that's a that's a, a serious issue with our people, man, because they eat all types of abominations. They eat all these high fat foods, these fast food restaurants. Okay, pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. All right, you know, uh, hey, they, they go to these fast food places like McDonald's and Burger King. Okay, you know, but and they don't think nothing of their health. Okay, and what's really in these foods? It says for it, it is a part. Ginger has been shown to reduce levels of blood and fat in the blood. Thereby limiting the chance of that obesity and cholesterol will place excessive pressure on the veins, arteries, and heart itself. Okay, so it's better for blood flow. It's better for your arteries. Okay. Overall, ginger ginger's impact can be a key factor in avoiding the development of heart disease. Okay, so ginger is very good for blood flow. Okay, uh, your veins, your arteries. All right, and, and overall your heart and, and the strength of your heart. You know, and, and for women, ginger actually helps with menstrual pain as well. I'm going to get into this a little bit. This is the average woman can expect to experience some discomfort as a result of menstru menstruation rough, roughly once each month for several decades that make up their fertile years. Unfortunately, for some individuals, this discomfort can come crippling, making it difficult to carry out even simplest of daily tasks like getting out of bed in the morning. While there are many pain medications designed to help with menstrual pain and discomfort, a natural solution is ginger. Several studies have shown that consuming ginger can significantly alleviate the pain associated with menstruation with those taking a gram of ginger powder, experience pain relief on the par with taking a medication like ibuprofen. Okay, so for, for, for women, um, that menstrual pain to deal with that, the natural way is to use ginger. All right, and ginger also prevents cancer. Okay, of all the diseases in the world, and there are many, few present the challenges of cancer. That's why any food foods that have been linked to reduced risk of cancer have become mainstays in the diets of individuals hoping to live longer and overcome a family history of cancer. Ginger can help in the fight against cancer. Medical research suggests studies have shown that regularly consuming ginger extract can help prevent cancer because one of ginger's roots, most active compounds, is gingerol contains cancer fighting properties in one study just two grams of ginger extract each day reduce slacky help reduce inf inflammation in the colon the site of on uh, one of the most deadliest forms of cancer okay so hey man it helps to deal with cancer it helps to prevent cancer okay as well as many other diseases that are 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 you know i don't want to say use the word present in, in, in the world we live in today, man, you know, and a lot of these diseases are man-made, okay, or, or, or slash man-caused, okay, you know, because, hey, man, <laughs> they make big money off of uh, 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 pharmacy, man, medication, these doctors, these nurses, the medical field, okay, prescription drugs, etc., man, all right? <laughs> All right, ginger also boosts brain functionality, okay? Improving brain functionality requires a consistent cognitive stimulation, a healthy diet, regular physical exercise, 
but our brains face constant challenges from our environment, including a family history of brain-related illnesses like Alzheimer's disease and stress. To combat the decline of cognitive functionality and improve the way our brain works, we can consume foods that fight inflammation like those which with omega-3 fatty acids. Ginger can also help as it contains its far share of anti-inflammatory properties and antioxidants, okay? So it helps your brain function properly and better, okay? You know, it helps you think better, okay? It's going to help your memory function, all right? In fact, studies have shown that regularly consuming ginger extract improved reaction time and memory results in older adults, particularly elderly women, okay? So, hey, man, it improved reaction time, man, okay? So it's helping your brain function better, man, okay? Because you got to remember, we're being, we're being polluted in this place, man. We can only still, you know, we try to stay as healthy as we can, you know. But there's only so much you can do, man. The air you breathe is polluted, man, okay. Wherever you're at right now, just look up in the sky if it's daytime, man. Even if it's nighttime, man. You got planes flying over dispersing chemtrails, man, okay. <laughs> you know. Hey, man, the water you drink, it's got fluoride in it. The toothpaste you use has got fluoride in it, all right. Hey, man, the foods that you eat. It's got all types of chemicals, man. Some of the foods you eat are genetically modified. Even some of the health foods, they say non-GMO and all natural, this, that, and so forth. It still has genetically modified properties. It still has chemicals in it, man. Okay? They want your immune system to be lowered, man. All right? They want you to be more acceptable to disease and sickness, man. They want you to appear more frequently at the doctor's office, at the hospital, in line in the pharmacy okay that's what they want for you man it says in fact studies it's like i already i already read that it's like, all right Gin, ginger also helps fight infection the bioactive compound found in ginger root ginger oil has recently been linked to reduce risk of infection that's because of ginger roll is effective in limiting the growth of bacteria associated with problems in all parts of the body in fact ginger extract has it previously been used to help prevent the development of bacteria in the respiratory system, thereby limiting the risk of lung problems like bronchitis. Consuming ginger extract on a regular basis may therefore help individuals with acute respiratory conditions, such as asthma, improve their chances of breathing easily and healthy. Okay, so it helps with as asthma and also it is good and beneficial for your lungs, man. And hey, like I was going into just a minute ago, hey, we're being polluted in, 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 by the, you know, by these chemtrails and all different things put in, in the atmosphere, okay? So anything that'll help and benefit our brain function, our lungs, you know, and our heart, man, okay? Hey, we need that, man, okay? Because we're, bre we're breathing in chemicals as we speak, man, okay? All right, now I had a couple scriptures I wanted to get into real quick. You know, and this is going to be episode one, and I'm going to continue to do uh, carry out this series, uh, Lord willing, um, on, you know, health and, and, and benefits for our health, herbs of the earth, you know, different natural, uh, uh, healthy ways to, uh, keep our body healthy and, and in shape as well. Okay. This is Genesis chapter one and 11 and Yahweh and, uh, Yahweh said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And Yahweh saw that it was good. Okay. Amen. <laughs> now let's skip down now let's skip down to verse 29. And Yahweh said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the earth Slaki, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the in the in the slaki in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat okay so hey man these herbs they're they're they're, they're for us to eat man they're for meat man okay they're for our consumption man okay and they're beneficial to our body to stay healthy man okay you know brothers got to stay on top of the herbs man all right it was put here on this earth for us to consume, for us to say, stay healthy, okay? To use against sickness, bacteria, illnesses, okay? To keep your immune system up so you can fight off those diseases, man, okay? 
Now let's go to Ezekiel chapter 47. It's Ezekiel 47 and 12. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees for meat. Okay. Hey, man. These herbs, these trees, these leaves, they, hey, they're for meat, man. Whose leaves shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to its months, because their waters they issued out of the, the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof for medicine. Okay. Hey, man. These herbs, okay, these leaves, these seeds, they're for medicine, man, okay? This is the medicine that we're supposed to be dealing with, man. Not these pharmacies, not these over-the-counter prescription drugs, okay? We're supposed to be using the herbs of the earth for medicine, man, and we're supposed to be consuming it daily, man, okay? You know, because like I've said, hey, we're constantly being polluted physically in this place, man, okay? The water, the air, the food, okay? It's constantly being polluted. Hey, you walk down the street, man. It's like you you, you walk down the street or you walk uh, 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 downtown or in the city or you're going to a restaurant, this, that, and so forth, man. Hey, you, you're walking around all types of pollutions, man. You got chemicals coming out of these cars. You got chem you, hey, you got people walking around putting chemicals in their body, man. Smoking cigarettes and vape, you know, smoking weeds, smoking tobacco, you know, walking right by you. So chemicals are constantly uh, 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 flowing, so to speak, around us, man. Okay. And, you know, we got to protect and, and keep our bodies as healthy as we can, you know, because we can only do but so much on this side, man. We're not going to have to worry about uh, a, a lot of the shit that goes on on this side, okay, in the kingdom, man. Okay. You know, we're not going to worry about uh, 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 these devils polluting the earth, man. Okay. We're going to be in rulership, man. The earth is going to be at rest, man. Okay. We're not going to have to worry about chemtrails in the kingdom, man. We're not going to have to worry about GMO foods in the kingdom, man. Okay? We're not going to have to worry about fluoride in the water, man. Okay? That righteous kingdom that's going to be set up. Hey, man, we're going to have rulership over these other nations, man. Okay? And they're not going to have no power in the kingdom. Okay? And that's going to be a beautiful time, man. Okay? Where the Israelites are going to live forever and ever and ever, man. Okay? So, hey, man, set your eyes on the kingdom, man, okay? You know? <clears throat> Hope that was edifying to you, Akim. This is going to be uh, the first episode in, in, in a series. You know, I'm, I'm a, uh, Lord willing, I'm going to continue to keep putting out videos on, on health, okay, and the different benefits of different herbs. Um, hope you, hope you Akim, and, and you, Akwath, were edified. Uh, with that, I want to say Kahalaya, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rakaha Kwadash, double honors to the head apostle, and that is a great millstone of Ruel. Peace and blessings to you, sincere Akim, that are pushing this truth all over the four corners of the earth, week in and week out, in all truth and sincerity. And with that, I want to say Shalom.